Over in Dictionary Corner, it's Rob Beckett. <laughs> I'm not saying Rob has massive teeth, but rumour has it they mark a prehistoric burial ground. <laughs> When Rob got married, his wife wanted to ride a horse-drawn carriage to the church, but decided against it so as not to confuse the photographer. <laughs> <laughs> Rob grew up in Lewisham, where, because of his teeth, he was technically classed as a dangerous dog. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't have to buy them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he just called me a dog. Rob started brushing his teeth nine years ago, and great news. <laughs> <laughs> you, great only, new... you, you only need the setup. You don't even need the brush, right? <laughs> Rob started brushing his teeth nine years ago, and great news, he's nearly finished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying Rob's got big teeth, but Rob is 98% calcium. <laughs> I'm not saying Rob's got big teeth, but at summer solstice, loads of druids make a pilgrimage to his mouth and dance about. <laughs> but Rob is one of the most wanted comedians on the circuit, mainly by ivory poachers. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a bit carried away, Rob. It's all right, mate. <laughs> I can only apologise. Um, up against him this evening... Rob Beckett is the only man I know that has to get planning permission when he visits a dentist. <laughs> When the tooth fairy came when you were a child, what did you do with the money? Did you buy a car? <laughs> I got quite a lot of money and I lent it to you to buy yours. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> you never get that back. <laughs> Tonight, Rob is worried he might have bitten off more than he can chew. Don't worry, Rob. I don't think there's anything you couldn't chew. <laughs> Where would Rob be without comedy? I imagine beavering away constructing a dam out of pigs and moss. 